morning, boys and girls. We're going to draw the cutest pig. Take your big eraser or the eraser on your pencil and draw yourself a nice big circle. And it doesn't need to be perfect. Okay, once you've got a nice big circle, make sure there's room down here for his little feet. So we're just going to make a big circle like this. Okay, then I'm going to take my eraser again and make a circle near the bottom. A nice big circle. And this circle will actually be his head because he's going to look straight at you. Okay, and then we're going to do another one near the bottom, a nice big circle again, and this is his snout. And in his snout is two other circles, a little bit higher. So here's one, a little bit more like an oval works too, kind of up and down. That's his cute little nostrils. And we will give him two more circles for his eyes. One circle, two circle. Make sure you skip a little space in between them. You can see he's coming together already. Now, he definitely needs a cute little smile here. And we need to give him another circle. He's so full of circles. Here's his nice, big, bright eyes. Look how cute he is. So if this is his head, this is where his little ears would go. So we're going to go up and up. And if you're behind right now, remember to pause it and catch up. Okay? Then curve out, curve out. See how cute those are? Now where they attach to the body, you want it to be a little bit wide. So you want to come down and make sure that this is a little bit wide so it's not real skinny. And all you're going to do is kind of curve back. Now, if these weren't long enough, you would want to lengthen this line a little bit so that you could curve up so you get his cute little ears. Now, he does need little feet. His front feet, you want to start with one line, two lines. Try not to make them too skinny. One line, two line. And then we're just going to put like a little V going up. One, two. See his cute little toes? And then over here, we want to make sure that they don't go out. We're going to keep them still going straight. And they look a little shorter because they're higher and behind. One, two. You see how it's behind? Over here. One, two. They also, they, if you notice, they're higher on the page. V, V. Now, with your crayon, you could color in his little toenails. I'm going to just do it real quick with my marker, like this. Give him his little toenails. My favorite part is his little tail. So we don't want to make too many curls. Just out and a nice little curl like this, like a little pigtail. But this is the part that's tricky. We start at the tip and we go back. And then we loop around and we go through. See his cute little tail? Isn't that cute? And there's your cute little pig. If you want, you could give him a little bit of shadow in his nostrils like this. And coloring him pink would be so cute. I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of zigzag grass clumps near him. like this. And you might even want to put a nice little mud puddle underneath him. Look how I keep the lines kind of flat and wavy. So he can play in this cute little mud puddle. Oh, look at that. He's very happy. If you wanted, you could give him little curves here, like on the corners of his mouth. I think that looks cute. Anyway, I hope you had fun drawing him. He's kind of simple, but he's super cute. You could draw a bunch of little ones.